As we know, Update 7 brought us the Tech Tree Light for the British line. We've already done the Tier 8. We're now moving on to the Tier 9, the Vickers Cruiser, also known as the Vickers CR. But what's it like? Yeah, hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujits Blitz. And now we're going to look at the Tier 9, the Vickers Cruiser, or Vickers CR. That's what the Beastie looks like. Now, when we look at the stats, as you can see, it's dishing out a lot more damage at 350, but the rate of fire is dropped to 7.5 rounds a minute. Penetration is still pretty good. Armor is still pretty okay, and speed is good. Looking at the detailed stats, hit points 1,600, mainly that frontal armor on the turret is very good. Pretty good view range, great concealment. And as you can see, DPM is up to 2,632 a minute with a reload time of just shy of 7 seconds. Armor penetration, well, APCR is your standard round, 257, with heat being your premium at 300. Average damage, 350, 340 on your HE. Got a pretty decent aim time at just over 3 seconds and good gun depression at 10 degrees and elevation at 20. This is what the armor profile looks like and as you can see that front mantlet and the front of the turret has a little bit more armor than its counterpart at tier 8. And boy it does make a difference. Sticking it up against an E75 you can see however it is pretty penetrable all around however if you wiggle that turret you can get quite a few bounces that's the standard loadout i give it equipment wise why because i like it. it works for me consumable wise well i use the usual stuff because i want that fast load and quickness and i increase the crew skills to make them better and quicker but what's it like when you roll out in a game <laughs> well what can i say as much as i love the tier 8 this one is completely different it is much better i mean it is fantastic it is an absolute dream to drive out in it's beautiful simple fact alas i've not had time to roll out of it on my main account yet but i did roll out of it as soon as update 7 hit on the press account in asia and you know what i instantly fell in love with this thing a lot more head over heels in love than the fb301 i'm assuring you of that okay so there was a lot of consternation over the introduction of the other two tech tree tanks recently namely the missile tanks you can call it what you like anger disappointment frustration whatever and to me it sort of made the game slightly stale there are people not playing in certain tiers because those tanks existed and it was the same old tanks doing the same old thing on the same old map so yeah it felt slightly stale but you know what this is like revitalizing the game i mean these tanks are just absolutely phenomenal i mean they have brought a wow needed breath of fresh air to the game they really have and like i said with the fv301 best bit about it they're free they're they're basically free you don't have to use gold you don't have to pay for them they're not in a container they're in a tech tree you too for a bit of xp can have and obviously a couple of thousand credits can have these tanks and you are going to absolutely love them but what is it about this tank I actually like well apart from the fact it's got an absolutely awesome gun at the front of it it has got really nice mobility i mean you can throw this thing around the battlefield okay it's got a three something second aim time but you know what it doesn't feel like it. I mean, this thing has the ability to smack anything, to be honest with you. Okay, so 8 second reload may feel like a long time. But you know what? It actually isn't when you're dishing out 350 a shell. That's like 700 every 16 seconds. I mean, that is phenomenal. Let's be honest with you. This, to me, if I'm being honest, this is what the T92 should have been. It shouldn't have been the monstrosity that it was. I mean, look at that. I mean, I smacked that Vickers going the one way. He turned around. I smacked him going the other way. It's an amazing tank. And as I said, this is what the T-92 should have been. It shouldn't have had stupid missiles. It shouldn't have had stupid armor. And it shouldn't have been dishing out so much alpha on, on, on its one shell. It should have been like this. 
And if it was like this, everybody would have still loved it. However, let's get to the stuff that you will want to hear. Is it broken? Is it OP? Well, I don't think it is. I think it's a, just a damn good tank. You could argue that, okay, it's slightly broken with its pen values, but um, I don't think it is because, unlike the T92, this thing doesn't have the trolley armor. It doesn't have that massive amount of spaced armor that's going to bounce a mouse. This thing, however, is a phenomenal tank. In the wrong hands, you're going to be punished. In the right hands, you're going to absolutely punish everything. This is an amazing tank. I mean, I broke almost 4K there without breaking a sweat. I love this tank. Why? Because of games like this. This is going to show you how versatile this tank is. I'm going. I'm playing it aggressively. I was live streaming yesterday on Asia. I said I'm going to play it aggressively. I went straight through the middle to try and spot. Clearly they're not there. I came round the side thinking, well, if they're not there, something is going to be this side. Let's get round there and spot it to see if it is. And lo and behold, there's an E50. Now watch this. I knock him for 350, he knocks me for 229. That to me is a fair trade. I've just smacked a big, massive, medium tank. That is a very good tank for a lot more than what he smacked me. Now, that's where people are going to start saying it needs to be nerfed. I'm telling you, it doesn't need to be nerfed. I don't think it does. Yes, 350 seems a lot. Yes, the penetration seems a lot. But as I said, oh, I bounced that. Look, that was that was from the Action X. Now, okay, I get that. But the thing is, it doesn't have the armor. And, you know, up again, if you play this wrong and, and you, you're facing off against a good player, they're going to whittle you down in next to no time. A good HE round from a ball sig or a waffle tray or, a, or or anything like that is going to put paid to you running around like a fool. What you can do, however, is what I'm going to do with this low in a minute. I mean, the maneuverability on this thing is just fantastic. I love it. And you know what? I, I, I'm not a good light tank player. I, I'm really not. They're a pain in my side. And I don't play them very well. But I absolutely loved every single nanosecond in this tank. And okay, I didn't play it for long, I admit, on the Asian server. I haven't played it on my main account yet, just because I haven't had time. But for the times I did, I, I couldn't put it down, even though the ping was so, so bad. Okay, so I didn't get a mastery. But what I did do is fall in love with a tank and fall in love with a game that I already love in any event. This is just rekindled my love for a game let's put it that way this tank has shown me that when they put their mind to it wargaming can come up with something absolutely fantastic and we may knock them for the stupid missile tanks but you know what they've redeemed themselves with these tanks to an extent i mean the missile tanks are still there let's be honest and you know i've been smacked a few times with missiles in this thing and you know it really does hurt it's not nice. If you haven't got this tank, if you've got the XP to get this tank, get it, guys, because it is a really nice tank to have in your garage. Is it noob friendly? Well, to an extent, yes, it is. I mean, this is not as difficult as the Bat Chat in tier 9, and it's not as stupid as the T92. I mean, in this one, you're going to be introduced to playing the higher tier lights like you are with the FE301 without having to know how to use a clipper. Now before you ask, I wasn't seal clubbing. That guy there in the ST1 is actually a unicorn. But because I'm so quick and nippy, he couldn't do anything. And again, 3887 without breaking a sweat. However, try as I might, I could not get the ace on this tank on the Asian server. So I had to turn to my good friend Fizzy11 of the clan GNA, who's also a YouTuber. Fizzy Plays is his channel. Guess what? He's almost at a thousand subscribers. Guys, if you haven't subbed to Fizzy Plays as of yet, please, please do so. Seriously, it'll make his day if he can get to a thousand. 
won't necessarily make my day because I've promised to buy him something if he gets to a thousand but please if you haven't subbed to him check him out does a lot of live streams really good guy does everybody's discord fantastic fantastic individual and a beautiful human being as uh, Bushka would say so give him a look give him a sub and by the way he, he himself needs a nerf not the tank and he's pl he's gonna play the the Vickers Seahar ear the way it should be played I mean this is what it loves doing being hauled down and being a nuisance this is what it enjoys it doesn't like you know yellowing it likes picking nipping at the enemy and taking them down and that's what it does and then when it wants to it's going to drop its engine and roll around the corner and give everybody a bad time and this is why I love it I mean this tank is absolutely a barrel of laughs it really is I mean okay you can come on stuck like I said if you play it like a YOLO monster and you, you don't put any thought into it you're gonna get hurt a lot but if you play it like it should be played which is that of a light tank you are going to absolutely be loved by your team and you can dominate the battlefield and like I say in a lot of my other videos you really need to understand your role on the battlefield this whilst it is a light and it has the ability to play a light and trust me when I played it I, I played it aggressively for testing purposes on stream as much as it quick as, as quickly as it got me into trouble it also quickly got me out of trouble and I, I, I haven't shown you the replay but I did one game on Port Bay where I was surrounded by a mouse a Sheridan and a T92 lost almost all my hit points yet I managed to scuttle around run all the way around the map get around behind them and basically smack them to smithereens that's what you can do in this thing that is why it's such a fun tank because wow everybody likes playing lights for that reason and as I said previously personally if this would have been what the T92 was like Wargaming would have nailed it but it's not it's got stupid spaced armor it's got a stupid gun and it's got stupid missiles and they missed a trick here they have certainly not missed any tricks whatsoever I mean I, I really can't sing the praises of this tank now a lot of people are gonna turn around and say it's OP it's broken as I said I don't think it is I just think it's bloody good that's fizzy doing well just shy of 4,600 damage in getting a well deserved mastery so I'd like to do a big thanks to Fizzy for kindly sharing his replay so you can see how the tank should be played I've been Fujit that has been the Vickers CR or Cruiser whichever you want to call it the tier 9 new addition to the British tech tree the British light tank by all means comment like and everything below if you haven't yet pressed subscribe please do so and if you haven't subscribed to Fizzy yet please do so I'd like to say a big thanks to my subscribers for because without you these videos would be meaningless and a big shout out to my patreons who without them these videos would be a lot harder to do by all means if you've got any decent replays wing them across to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com or upload them to my discord server what is ever easier for you and until the next time i will say my usual stuff stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that really is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.